Hi there gorgeous hope you're having a fabulous day if this video looks familiar to you and you're thinking haven't I already watched this one before yes yes you have I long story short had some copyright violation issues with YouTube that popped up out of nowhere I buy my music for my videos from a third party company that gives me rights to be able to use them on YouTube no restrictions I've never had a problem in the past I've had copyright things, notices before, and I've always appealed them and won, never had any issues. For some reason, with this video, the music that I chose to use in it flagged YouTube, I appealed it, lost, was told if I continued to appeal it, even though I knew I had the rights to use it, I could end up getting a copyright strike on my account. So, long story short, I didn't fight it. I actually lost the ad revenue from that video. And if I would have continued to keep the video up the way that it was, I would have continued to lose revenue on it permanently. So I took the video down. Before that, I had tried to cut the songs out, which ended up messing up the audio. So if you watch the video at some point and you notice the audio was a little screwed up, that was why. And I've had so many people asking to see this video since I took it down that I wanted to redo it and thankfully I have a backup system on my computer that happened to save these files all the way back from October last year so I could redo this video and bring it to you again and I was very pregnant when I filmed this video last year so yeah <laughs> anyway today I'm showing you a complete transformation into Elizabeth Taylor and this is based off of my interpretation of studying pictures of her, looking at her makeup very closely based off the pictures that I'm showing you here. So it's not based off of any factual evidence of makeup products she might have used or techniques she applied. It's simply an interpretation. And I've also gone ahead and included fun facts about Elizabeth Taylor that will be sprinkled throughout the video as pop-ups, things that I learned about her that I never knew about her that I thought were rather fascinating. So if you like Elizabeth Taylor, or you just want to recreate a look like this, I hope that you'll find this enjoyable. For the eyes, I'll be using the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette, specifically these three shades, taking the lighter gray and the darker gray first. I'm applying these with a fluffy brush directly onto the lid. Using a fluffy brush helps to keep the application light. And one of the things I noticed in a lot of Elizabeth Taylor's younger pictures is that she had this gray eye shadow that was contained only to the lid and it didn't really go up into the crease. She didn't have any eye shadow in the crease actually. So that's where we're focusing this gray eye shadow specifically on the mobile lid area. Now, if you have hooded eyes, you could bring this up a little bit higher and get away with it. Taking that black eyeshadow from the palette, I'm using this to line the upper lash line. And she did have a black line on the upper lash line and it was rather smoky. It wasn't defined as something you might get with a liquid liner. So I'm guessing it was more or less a pencil because back in the 50s, 60s, I know that eye pencils were really big. And so she probably did use that, but I'm using eyeshadow because it's an easier medium that I like to work with personally. Then I'm going in with a smudging brush and blurring the edges of that line to make it smoky and give it a sultry appearance. And this is partly why I chose eyeshadow instead of eye pencil because eyeshadow smudges much more easily and it gives you a more soft appearance. She also had a small kitten wing on the outer corner of the eye, so I'm going back with that angled brush. This is the MAC 266, I believe, and I'm lightly applying the eyeshadow and twisting the brush as I'm applying it to get that winged effect.
I am adding in a pair of false eyelashes. These are from my brand, Inky Minky Lashes, in the style Make Believe, simply because Elizabeth didn't wear false eyelashes, but she had a lot more lashes than I do. So <laughs> this is a very natural pair that will give me the same kind of lashes that she had. For the brows, I went back with that same black eyeshadow from the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette and I used this to begin to fill in the brows. Obviously her brows were black, and if you really study the shape of her brows, I'll have a picture that comes up on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. They were very rounded on the inner corner. They weren't faded like we do today. That's more of a trend that's a modern day trend. Hers were very much filled in, very thick in appearance, so I'm mimicking that same shape here. They also were a little bit more elongated at the tail than what we do today. For the face, I'm using NYX's Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, and this is a very full coverage foundation, and I chose it because her skin was flawless. She had no freckles, no age spots, nothing. So that's why I chose to go with this foundation, because I do have freckles, I do have age spots, so using a fuller coverage foundation will help eliminate all that and give you that kind of coverage. For my concealer, I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer because the eye bags are real, girl. Oh my gosh. But this stuff, it eliminates them instantly. And you can see that very clearly here. It's a great concealer. To further add to the full coverage that I want on the skin, I'm using Antonym's Powder Foundation to set the face. This is a powder that you can use all by itself as a foundation and it works beautifully, but when you layer it over an already full coverage foundation, it does intensify that coverage level. Now, if you look at some of the pictures of Elizabeth, you can see white eyeliner on her lower waterline, but it was subtle. It wasn't very pronounced. So I'm going in with Ardell's Want to Get Lucky Gel Liner in a white shade here and applying that on the waterline. The problem with this stuff is that it's so pigmented that I'm trying not to apply that much. And after applying what I thought was a small amount, I still had to go back and blend it and blur it a little bit more. And then I added more of that black eyeshadow onto the lower lash line, lining it with that angled brush, same one I used for the brows. This was a technique that she carried with her through her whole life too, because if you look at all of the pictures of her, especially the ones in her later years, she still lined the lower lash line with black like this and did the upper lash line too for that matter. And there were still some subtle hints of that white eyeliner being used. For the cheeks, I'm going in with this palette from CoverGirl, I can't remember the name of it, I'll have it below, and Elf's Tickled Blush, combining these two together to get a soft peach pink color that I'm applying directly onto the cheeks. Her blush was also very subtle. It was a soft enhancement to the cheeks. It was not loud at all. For the lips, I'm going in with Milani's True Red Lip Liner and ColourPop's On Display Lipstick. Her lips were a beautiful bright red in a lot of pictures that I saw of her. And when she did the Cupid's bow, when she lined that area, it was very rounded. It was not a pointy shape.
Now this wig, <laughs> I didn't know about this wig when I first put it on. I was kind of regretting the decision to get it. It is so hard to find an Elizabeth Taylor wig online, let me tell you. I ended up finding this one on Etsy. I'll have it linked below for you where I purchased it from. But once I combed through it and styled it a little bit more, it looked a lot better. But at first I was feeling like Dr. Frank Footer from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I found these beautiful earrings on Amazon, very Elizabeth Taylor, and don't forget the beauty mark because I almost did. <laughs> it was on the right side of her face. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more like this, I will have the full playlist linked for you below. Let me know, who would you like to see me transform into next? It can be anyone from any era. And if you see a comment below where you think, oh yeah, I wanna see that too, give them a thumbs up, let me know. Thanks for being here, for taking the time to watch. I want to wish you a beautifully blessed week ahead and look forward to seeing you again next time.